guys welcome back to my channel it's lauren and welcome to a pageant q a i have been getting so many requests to do this so i asked y'all on my instagram to ask me any questions that you had about pageantry literally anything you wanted to know because i know that not everyone is as familiar in pageants as other people so i wanted to go ahead and answer any questions that y'all had if you're new here my name is lauren i am a college lifestyle youtuber that just recently started dabbling in pageantry as like an extra hobby honestly i have learned so so, so much in pageantry and I have vlogged a lot of it as well. I just recently got done competing at National American Miss Nationals and actually placed first runner up. If you're wanting any content from that, that is already live on my channel and I'll be getting into like the title that I hold now as I get further into the video, but wanted to go ahead and welcome you. Thank you so, so much for clicking on this video. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button to join the Angel family. We would absolutely love to have you here, but I have some questions that I would love to answer for y'all, so let's get going with today's video. So we are jumping right on in, but before we do, I want to go ahead and clarify some of like the different pageant systems because that can be very, very confusing. And I know a lot of people, not only in the US, but also in like other countries, it's very confusing to find out that there's different pageant systems in different areas that you compete in. So like I said, I'm not a pageant pro. I don't know everything there is to know about pageantry. I am still learning every little step I take, but basically there's different pageant organizations I think that's the right word that I can use. And you can be awarded titles and compete in different ones. I love how there's different pageant organizations because each of them look for something different. And some pageants might take up a lot of your time and might take a lot of prepping. You might need to volunteer a lot. It's like very heavy competition. While others allow you to still have a life and still have side things going on where it's not just pageantry going on. So two most popular ones that you are probably familiar with. Obviously, I live in the US, so these are what I know of. You're probably most familiar with Miss America and Miss USA. I actually competed at USA one time and it was, I think I was like 19 or something. I did a full story time on that. That story time was so, so long ago. I don't even remember how long ago I posted that story time, but it is live on my channel. I did compete basically as like to prove to myself that I could do something bigger than myself. Anyways, since then I have taken it much more seriously and actually put like my all into pageantry and it's been such an amazing experience. But basically, those are like the two main ones, I would say. But there are also smaller ones, ones that still have a state title. So when you look up Miss Alabama, it'll probably come up with Miss Alabama for America or the USA system. But there is many different state titles for these different organizations. I hope I'm explaining this in a way that like you can understand. So National American Miss is its own organization or program pageant, whatever you want to say about it. And they don't just focus in on the Miss contestants. They have a teen, a junior teen, like a preteen, a junior preteen. Like it's where little kids can also grow up in a pageant system. Like I said a little earlier, I did just compete at National American Miss. So I held the state title of Alabama. So I was Miss Alabama for National American Miss. And now I hold a title for Miss Alabama for America's Ideal Miss. And that is what I am competing at in the summer. Now, not all pageants have a national competition. That's another thing that's like, I could get into this. And I honestly, if I do, I probably wouldn't even be able to speak right because I don't know everything. A lot of pageants though have a national competition. So to be able to compete at the national competition, you have to win a state title in order to compete. Does this make sense? I'm hoping I'm explaining everything correctly where you can like understand a little bit before we get into the Q&A. This is just what I've experienced in pageantry. I'm not saying that everything I say is going to be by the book or by everyone's standards. I'm just speaking from my own heart and what I have experienced in the past few months of doing pageants. But right now I do hold the title of America's Ideal Miss Alabama. And I'm so, so excited to be competing at nationals this summer and bring you along for it. The first question is what got you into pageants and when did you start. So like I said, I competed at the Miss USA system for like the Miss Alabama USA system. I believe I competed in like 2018. I want to say it was 2018. I'm not too sure the exact time. I go into more detail about why I did that specific pageant in my story times. So if you're familiar with that, I'll link that down below. But what really got me into pageantry, like for real, for real, when I decided to start competing actually in pageants last year, honestly, I was looking for something to do. I was looking for a hobby as if I'm not busy enough. I don't know. I felt like I could add something onto my plate. And they were looking for a Miss Alabama for National American Miss to represent the state for the national competition. 
competition. Ended up being awarded the title and went on to go to nationals and I started working with a pageant coach. I learned a lot competing just in that first time of like Alabama USA even though I really wasn't trying to win. It was more of like a, I don't even know how to explain it and why I really did it, but I learned a lot just from that small experience so definitely going in with more of like a better idea when i decided to compete for national american miss i honestly was still clueless but i knew a little bit more like it was very important to have a hair and makeup artist it was very important to spend money on these outfits that you're going to be modeling on stage and so i definitely took that into consideration when i started doing it honestly after i competed at nationals i was just hooked i loved it i loved the feeling of it and it helped me a lot and you're probably like no like pageants don't help you in any way shape or form but honestly it really does not only do you make memories you make lifelong friendships you connect to a lot of people that connect you to a lot of different opportunities and also it's helped me with a lot of my interview skills i actually had to do like a fake prep interview for one of my classes it was like a i don't even know what this class was anyways you had to interview with someone like at our career center and i got done with my interview and i was like one of the only people that got a 100 and she was like i can tell right now that you have competed in pageants because i can tell every single girl who has competed in pageants versus the girl who haven't because of the sense of confidence that you have the way that you hold yourself the way that you speak and answer questions it is honestly like that's the biggest thing is just public speaking and interview skills that you get throughout pageantry how do you get rid of nerves <laughs> oh i don't know how i don't i literally don't so obviously when i competed at national american miss i was the state of alabama so you go in alphabetical order i was the first girl out every single time i had no idea what i was doing i was so scared i almost fell on stage my knees are also quivering at one part of the competition like they have different parts of competition that was probably important to mention in the first place not every pageant has the same areas of competition some pageants might have talent some might have interview some might not maybe i don't know but anyways a lot of pageants are different if you you're very curious you can literally look it up i'm sure google will help you a lot more than what i am honestly i just have to take deep breaths and know that i am just doing the best that i can and that all of my hard work is about to pay off okay so this question kind of goes with what i just said what are the different categories and which are your favorite to compete and why so for national american miss they had personal introduction which if you want to watch my national american miss like on stage performance i actually filmed a video of me reacting to it so you can actually see me performing on stage the areas of competition all that jazz there they had a personal introduction which was like a minute speech that you had to give you went through an interview you did formal wear why did it seem like so much more we also had two opening numbers and then like when you got called into like the top I think it was like the top five you have like an on-stage question which that scared me to death for America's Ideal Miss what I'm competing at this summer and what I actually hold a title in we have interview fun fashion which is kind of like a model fun I I I don't even know how to explain it, so I don't know. And then formal gown. I want to say my favorite would probably, as much as scares me, probably interview. I love being able just to talk to other people and share just my heart with them. Don't get me wrong, interview scares me, okay? I hate doing interview prep. I hate just like leading up to it. That's like when my nerves start getting to me. But honestly, in the middle of it, I really do love just meeting the judges and telling them more about myself. What does your pageant prep look like? I mentioned that I work with a coach. Her name is Amanda and I absolutely love her I didn't know people got coached for pageantry and when I told people that when I started to compete they were like Lauren what obviously people like take out like I mean people spend a lot of money on this okay like don't get me wrong like pageants are not <laughs> cheap okay people say you can go up and win in like a hand-me-down dress and all this stuff and I do believe that's true to a certain extent but depending on the system that you decide to compete in I don't believe that's true personally again personal opinion but it does have a lot to do with the type of person that you are and the community service and charity and stuff that you do obviously that is a big chunk of it and the interview is a big chunk of it that kind of goes back to the type of person you are but people do spend money on very nice outfits and obviously coaching so for my prep I do meet with her she is located in Atlanta and Atlanta is around a three sometimes three and a half depending on the time that I go our drive for me so sometimes Sometimes I go and visit her and we have two hour sessions then sometimes we just do zoom sessions which are a little bit shorter where we go over more interview prep and then I am in charge of practicing on my own and I will admit <laughs> I don't really do that. Sorry, Amanda. Um, I am though. I'm going to start because I feel like it is very important and I feel like it'll help my nerves when I'm like confident enough walking in heels and things like that, but I'm going to start doing better. But you should practice every day. I'm going to say I, I, yeah, I'm not going to say I do because I don't. Anyways, next question. 
Do you know what that just reminded me of? Have y'all ever watched Toddlers and Tiaras? Okay, everyone is like, Lauren, why do you watch Toddlers and Tiaras? No, it's one of my favorite pastimes. Like, if I am sitting on the couch, I'm either watching Toddlers and Tiaras or Dance Moms, point blank. Like, I'm watching one of those two shows. And the girls, like, never wanted to practice. Like, these, like, little babies, like, five-year-olds never wanted to practice. I am them. Mentally, I am. What are your pageant must-haves and where's the best place to get them? That's a good question. I honestly would say my biggest pageant must-have is having kind of, like, an emergency kit backstage. So think of literally anything that you would need like a miniature sewing kit safety pins tied to go pins a snack a water bottle kind of like kind of an emergency kit but also like a prep kit like just in case something breaks you need like a pick me up something that you need like on hand I definitely would say like make like a little kit for that I also keep some medicine in there too like some Tylenol or something but if you're talking about like pageant must-haves for like outfits I would say definitely make like a google slideshow or something and put in like your outfits like let's say if you have rehearsals one day and you have like a specific theme like National American Miss had a theme for like almost every single rehearsal I went ahead and made a google slideshow and like put together what I was going to wear for each thing that way I knew and it helped me prep a little bit better what are your favorite pageant memories hmm this is a good one I want to say probably the before just prepping with Amanda she always just makes me feel so special and just like a million bucks I absolutely love practicing with her and getting to know her better but probably getting caught into top 12 I think it was top 12 I think it was top 12 at nationals honestly amazing I was so proud of myself for doing the dang thing and being there I was just so so proud of myself and it didn't matter where I ranked after that I was like I am a finalist I am just so proud of myself at nationals when I got caught into top 12 I was like I wasn't I'm okay let me not lie I wasn't as cool as a cucumber but I was like as cool as you could get with keeping your cool you know obviously I still had to compete and obviously like have this final competition to prove to the judges that I was deserving of this crown and title but at the same time I was more relaxed than I was going into it originally I think because I finally had that faith in myself that I didn't fully have in myself when I was first competing so definitely finals night and getting caught in a top 12 was very special. How do you not compare yourself to other women competing, especially when they've won before? Okay, something that helped me was I don't know anybody. <laughs> like I know people now, kinda, not really. But like the pageant circle, I wanna say like it's not that big. Like once you start competing, I feel like you run into a lot of familiar faces. I just had to keep reminding myself that I am not them. I never will be them. And we both bring something different to the table. We both are very unique and special in our own ways. And just comparing myself, I know will just hurt me and just hurt my mindset of going in. The best advice that I have to give to anybody is if you are one of those people who compare yourself to others, honestly, don't even look at them. Don't look at them. Don't pay attention to them. Like putting your AirPods, like if you're rehearsal or wherever hair and makeup room like just don't listen to it a lot of girls will try and psych you out and a lot of girls will try and be mean and kind of deceiving and devious and don't let it get to you I almost let this happen to me with like several different situations that happened and honestly I just had to keep reminding myself that I am not here for them I am here for me and I am here to prove to myself that I can do anything that I put my mind to and I started my YouTube channel with the quote be the girl that just went for it and that was something that stuck in the back of my mind I was like I am here because I I am the girl that just went for it. I'm going for anything and everything that my heart desires. I'm going to chase after my dreams no matter what they are, no matter what anyone says about me or to me or anything of the sort. It truly just helped me positive self-talk to me in my mind or even out loud. Do you think the chance of winning is truly equal for everyone? I do. I honestly do. Again, I've only competed in three-ish organizations. I can't speak for every organization. And again, this is just my truthful opinion. Pageants aren't all about your looks you could be the most gorgeous girl in the most expensive dress but if you aren't a good person and you don't care about anybody and you're just a brat the whole entire time that's not going to get you anywhere in life and I feel like from my experience in pageantry they're looking for a girl who is a good role model is a loving and caring girl who's going to empower other women around them. I think they are mainly just looking for a girl who has a good head on her shoulders. Obviously, you know a little bit more about the girl whenever you interview them. You know kind of where their mind is at, why they're here competing, what they've done during their reign, things like that. I think pageants the past couple of years have done a really good job in showing that you don't have to be like this perfect size two skinny, beautiful model to win titles. I think this is also something that we're working on more as a whole like 
country and world is just to embrace yourself embrace everything that you have to offer no matter who you are what name you have what you look like and I think that is so so special and that's my main thing is if you're not wanting to compete in pageants or do anything in your life just because of what you look like or your weight where you come from how much money you have none of that matters literally just chase after your dreams put yourself out there because you never know what opportunity awaits you I saw this quote and I want to leave it at that and it said if you weren't ready you wouldn't be given this opportunity and I love that quote if you weren't ready for this opportunity it wouldn't be presented to you so take every opportunity that you can how do the costs work for pageants between staying in hotels eating dresses etc this depends on the pageant system as well depends on how long you're going to be competing for how many categories there are a lot of pageants have optional competition that you can win if you pay to sign up for them a lot of pageants have like the registration fee or competition fee they might have a sponsorship fee which obviously you can get sponsored by different brands companies friends and family, things like that. Obviously the wardrobe I think is the biggest thing because a lot of people will spend a lot of money on their wardrobe, but you can buy wardrobe secondhand. I know that there's an app called Queenly. I haven't had the best luck with it. Like everything I've bought from there, it just hasn't been my thing and it's been kind of wacky. But anyway, there also is like Facebook pages and things like that that you can buy secondhand, like very nice pageant wardrobe pieces. The cost for eating in hotel stays depends on how long you're there. A lot of pageants will give you a discounted rate that way it makes it easier to stay but it is very hefty and costs a lot of money also you have to take into account if you're going to be hiring a hair and makeup artist or if you're going to be paying for a spray tan if you're going to be paying for coaching it is a lot of things going into it a lot of people might think it's a waste of money a lot of people might think it would be an investment it honestly is just up to people's personal preference and what they decide a lot of people will spend thousands and thousands of dollars on their daughter's cheer and dance competitions or travel ball or whatever their children do so it honestly just depends on what your interests are and how much you actually care about it if you do want to start pageantry and you are scared of the cost I would start looking up pageant organizations that align with your morals your values see where you want to compete and then kind of calculate the cost and start looking at wardrobe options that way you can either save up find ways that you can kind of budget cut things that way you're still able to compete there are a lot of different ways that you can cut costs it just depends on where you you want to cut the costs. What does your routine look like on pageant days? So when I was competing at National American Miss, I would wake up, it was at the crack of dawn. We would have to be in the hair, or at least I did. One morning, I had to be there at a crisp 4.45 a.m. I was done, I was like, y'all, I cannot deal with this right now. It wasn't that bad because obviously I didn't have to do my own hair and makeup. I paid someone to do it. So I just kind of had to sit in a seat. So like that was fine. A lot of the days were very early. Obviously the first day you would have registration. Sometimes you would have like a little after party, get together, photo session, whatever. On competition days, I would wake up really early and you'd have competitions like kind of back to back throughout the day. So a lot of caffeine was taken in during that week. I obviously would start it off with some water and coffee, some good breakfast that would hold me over for most of the day and then I would just start competing or going to rehearsals for me personally I would vlog and TikTok. I would TikTok my outfits that I was about to be going on stage for I was vlogging the whole experience which was a lot of fun sometimes you have break in between your schedules and so well, I think one day I took a nap one day I like cleaned up like the hotel a little bit sometimes I just sat and just like watched tv and just like rested my feet and then I was always ready just to take my makeup off like scrub it all off get in the shower normally tan and then get back into bed is it a friendly environment at competition yes and no it depends I talked about this in my Miss Alabama USA story time I had a great experience there because no one saw me as a threat no one knew who I was I didn't do YouTube at this time obviously I was one of the youngest girls competing for the title everyone was super nice to me and it turned out they were really nice to me because they just didn't see me as competition they didn't see me as a threat when I went into National American Miss that was a little different at that point I did have a following which I don't view myself as my following I just view myself as Lauren what I'm trying to say is I guess girls saw me as more competition then because I was prepped more I obviously had a coach I had been practicing so I feel like when people see you as competition and a threat they're not as nice to you but there's still 
a lot of girls who don't let that get to them. They don't really see anyone as competition but themselves and that is the best mindset that you can do. You're not in competition with everyone else. You literally are just in competition with you. You just have to put your best foot forward and at the end of the day, it's literally just several people's opinion. Like you cannot help if certain people don't like you. You are going up on stage to be judged and pageants aren't the only hobby that you do to get judged at. Think about all the different competitions. Like what I'm thinking of is like dance competitions. You literally are paying to be judged by judges, to see how good of a dancer you are. Same thing with cheer competition. So many things you get judged at, so that is something to definitely keep in mind that if it was a different day, if it was a different time, if it was a different panel of judges, the rankings might be different. People can still be mean and still be rude to you, but I feel like when you're in like the Miss Division, it gets a little bit better, maybe. That's just what I view it as. Also because I feel like if you're a Miss, mom isn't as involved, you know? Like you know how like some moms are like stage moms? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Hold on. I think I've told you this story. I'm going to tell you it again. For example, I was running late for my interview for National American Miss because I couldn't read the schedule, apparently. I still made it on time. Don't y'all worry about me, okay? Anyways, I was running so late and like the teens in the Miss had interviews at the same time. Something of the sort. I go up and I see these girls lining up for the, I think, is interview. So I ask one of the moms, I'm like, oh my goodness, is this like the interview? And she's like, yeah, I can't talk to you. My daughter's already in here. Like starts going off on me says she can't help me she doesn't know where I need to be and like literally will not give me any sense of direction because she thought I was in competition with her daughter and I was like okay I think I told y'all this story at some point I can't remember exactly what this woman said but she was very rude to me and was of no help so thank you for that woman if you're watching this you probably aren't you probably don't know who I am but it's okay what is the scariest thing about pageant honestly just putting yourself out there like to be judged and you have the opportunity to grow that is the biggest thing is if you allow yourself you will grow in so many different ways that you wouldn't even think is possible but you have to let yourself do that you have to have enough confidence in yourself to be able to grow and I think that's the biggest thing is a lot of people view so many things and opportunities in their life as a win or fail situation I don't believe you can win or or you can fail. I don't believe in winning and failing, okay? I believe you can reach your goals and you can reach certain dreams that you set yourself or it can be a learning opportunity. You cannot fail. If you get back up and you try again and you are here for this experience, so what if you don't win? So what if it didn't play out the way that you thought it was going to? You still have so many amazing memories. Hopefully you've made some friends along the way. You have this experience and it's a learning opportunity. Now you know if you wanna go back and do it again, no matter with what it is, you have the building blocks you can build yourself back up and you can try again never look at anything as you can win or lose or fail whatever that is no change your mindset how do you pick dresses and outfits for each event like i said earlier i do make like a google slideshow i make like a cute like little graphic of everything it helps you when you look at like the graphic if you screenshot like the dress that you're going to be wearing with the shoes and the earrings it helps you look at it better together where you know more of what you're looking for amanda helps me a lot i always like blow up her phone with like outfit options or what i'm thinking of wearing or things like that it helps me getting her opinion because she obviously knows more about this than I do. Just stay true to yourself. Stay true to the fashion that you like, things that you like wearing, colors you like wearing. Definitely don't try and change yourself for a pageant or anything in that matter because then you're not being truly yourself. You're not being the best version of yourself. You're trying to be someone else or you're trying to be a different version of you when the version of you that already exists is beautiful enough. Well guys, that was my pageant q and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I answered some of your questions. If you still have some questions, definitely feel free to DM me on Instagram, comment them down below. But if you've made it this far in the video, comment down the crown emoji. I love that emoji, it's one of my favorite ones. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you wanna join the family, you can click that subscribe button also. I love you guys so much and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.